Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Beth, if you are new here and I like to talk about music. And forgive my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather, but I am very excited to be checking out the rest of the singles that Charlie XCX has released for her upcoming album, Brat. Part of me just wanted to wait until the album came out, but once she released 360, I just started itching because I did hear a snippet of 360 on Instagram and I absolutely loved it. So I was like, I can't wait any longer. Um, here I am, you know, <laughs> Von Dutch. I didn't even really like it that much the first time I listened. When I'm driving around in my car or something, it's probably too repetitive. But I really do like that song now I had one night in particular that I just listened to it on a loop for hours on end. I think it's really fun it's really catchy and I'm excited to see what else she's been cooking up in her little kitchen. My favorite song to work out to is Speed Drive that is like one of my favorite Charlie XCX songs it just has the best energy you've ever heard. I actually just put it on a loop and listen to it the entire time I'm exercising. Like I don't really listen to anything else besides Speed Drive. Um, so that's where I'm at with Speed Drive. But the first song of the three that we will be listening to is called 360. It's actually the first track on the album. There is a music video. Mm, we'll see how I'm feeling. I might not. That's the clip that I heard online. Oh, I really love the flow of this song. It has such a satisfying way of like going line to line and every single word choice and every single rhyme works which I really appreciate. She definitely like just does not care what anyone thinks of this music. I feel like this album is just going to be very unapologetic. I saw something where she thinks of the lyrics on this album as though they're texts that she would like send her friends. That made me really excited for the album because you know I like the vulnerable or just like very authentic and real lyrics. But as far as the singles go so far we're just kind of getting like you know the, the energy. I can't say the word but we're just getting that type of energy. I actually don't know the definition of that word. Her voice sounds a little bit higher in this song. I don't know if I'm just like making that up, but classic Charlie XCX. I don't really know what to say because it's just kind of the same vibe that she's always done. I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's just classic Charlie XCX. I did enjoy that, especially again, as the opening track of the album, I feel like she's coming out being like, I don't care what you think of my persona. Like I'm just gonna make the kind of music that I wanna make. I don't care if you think it's bad, which is obviously very valid. I also loved the flow of the song. I really liked the beat and everything. I don't know, I enjoyed it. And then the lyrics, I, I thought were fun. There were some really fun, like specific references in the lyrics. It really reminded me of My Oh My by Ava Max, which I didn't cover that song on the channel. But similarly, My Oh My has um, a very fun lyrics, very, Kind of playful but also confident bad bitch energy and they make specific references to i believe it was the kardashians anyway same kind of vibe like she mentions specific celebrities it just has this air of like being rich and fabulous which is the same vibe that von dutch does and so i think in some ways i think charlie wants to make everyone feel rich and fabulous I mean, the more interesting the lyrics, the better, right? So like my favorite lyric was probably the, de the defibrillator. I can't even say that word. The defibrillator line. I just love that. I thought it was so creative, so unique, so fun. There were definitely a lot of lines like that though that were very unique and kind of fun and spicy. And I don't know. Okay, anyway, the next song we'll be listening to is called Club Classics, which is kind of like what Charlie XCX does. Right now. When I go to the club, I wanna hit this club classics. Club classics. Oh, I heard that on her Instagram. Yeah, I wanna dance with me. I wanna dance with AG. I wanna dance with George. I wanna dance with Sophie. I wanna dance with Mo. Play the track fast. 
Okay, I do recognize the names that she just said. So she said, I wanna dance with AG. I wanna dance with George. I wanna dance with Sophie. I wanna dance with Mo. I actually know who all of those people are for once in my life. So AG is the person who produced the song. I only know that because five seconds ago I looked it up. George is her fiance and a member of the 1975. Sophie, that reminded me of the fact that Charlie wrote this song as a tribute to the late Sophie. So, you know, kind of puts a sadder spin on things. And then Mo, Charlie's worked with before, right? And um, I've heard a couple of her songs. Bye -bye. Sparkly! I love this synth or whatever this is. <laughs> Yeah, the constant switch ups in the production, I love stuff like that. It's just like a head bobber. glad she's done switch ups in this song because at first it was very repetitive which is totally fine I get it it's like a club song but I was like oh no like my ADHD is gonna kick in and I'm gonna get bored just because I need constant stimulation but she gave me exactly what I needed I actually might like this one even more than the last song I mean this is just so fun <laughs> Um... <laughs> That's gonna be my favorite one. Okay, I really like that one, possibly even more than the last track because it was just so well done in my opinion. It started out, you know, super repetitive, super clubby. And then as it progressed, it just got more and more interesting. And, you know, it just kind of took me somewhere else. And I felt like, the ending of that song in particular felt very unique for Charlie XCX. Like it felt a little bit new for her, but I I'm not the Charlie XCX expert, so I could definitely be wrong, but I just felt like it was a bit different from a lot of the stuff that I've heard her do. And I just really love that. <laughs> My hair, it just fell out of it's a ponytail holder. But if I take it down, it's gonna look really bad. So um, let's just pretend it's still up. Okay, the next one is B2B, back to back. I, I feel like I looked up what it stands for and I don't remember. <laughs> this is my favorite song. So heavy. Oh. I feel like I'm stuck in an endless loop, but not in a bad way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that was by far my favorite. I don't know. I just like got fully, fully into that and like very tranced out. <laughs> uh, and I think in a sense, it was a very trance like song. That song just felt the most me of the three. It felt the most in line with my taste as far as you know, one listen. That's my initial thoughts. It could change over time if I listen more, but 
Um, yeah, I am glad that I checked these out, finally. I'm excited for this album, I am. I'm very curious what the lyrical content is going to entail ever since she, you know, she said it's gonna be a conversational vibe. Like, she's just texting a friend and, you know, sharing her thoughts, and I love that. And that made me more excited to see what this album has in store because I love the confessional or vulnerable or just more storytelling type of lyrics. So yeah, it makes me excited and I think it'll just be more authentic to her as well if she is being very conversational. That's gonna be really authentic to her, which I really like. So I'm excited. <laughs> I will say it again. I feel like we're in the year of artists that are releasing albums that are very authentic to where they are at in their life and not caring what other people think. I don't know, like Taylor Swift. She released an album that she knew was gonna be messy and chaotic and a lot of people probably wouldn't like, but she released it because she doesn't care. I feel the same about Beyonce. I feel the same about Ariana Grande. Um, not the messy part, but those albums are both just very authentic feeling to me. It makes me very happy to see. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.